ethics of artificial intelligence has become a really big field in the past couple of years. There are now many guidelines and policies in place, though they are difficult to implement. But essentially, we know that there are problems with bias, that when we collect data about people and when we use that data, the biases are amplified. And so artificial intelligence can disadvantage people and we need to make sure that we get that bias out. I really like the idea of a human-robot coexistence society. I think it's good because we know the technology is here. We can't really escape it. And we should look at how we can support it and how we can study our interactions to see in what way robots integrate into our lives. So I'm an optimist about technology. There have been some trials already to see whether AI can be used therapeutically. So there are, for example, chatbots that can provide uh, psychological therapy and we know that there are other good things going on that we can use virtual reality to treat anxiety so I think the technology can be beneficial but it needs to be tested clinically and make sure that it has clinical backing because anyone can put together a chatbot and call it a therapy bot but we need to know that this is working we need evidence I love Power of the Seal, he's so cute. Uh, I think it's really good. So there have been companion robots put into nursing homes and lots of trials around that and they seem to have quite positive results. And certainly anecdotally, the elderly people that have these companion robots uh, talk very fondly about them and seem to enjoy their company. At the moment, the technology that is produced tends to be produced with a default user who is male, who is white, who earns a lot of money. We need to make sure that technology is accessible for everyone. A big part of that is designing technology for women as well. So for example, when Apple released their health tracker, there was no way of tracking menstruation. This seems so strange that you exclude 51% of the population. So we need more women involved in the design process and in the development process.